And we start tonight with a developing story. We are learning new information about a growing investigation. This 19 year old went missing after attending a Halloween party in Sacramento over the weekend. And sadly, police say she has now been found dead. It is a tragic ending and tonight we're learning active service members are allegedly involved in her killing. This is a case that goes from the Central Coast to the Bay Area and Sacramento. NBC 10's Van 2 is live in Fairfield tonight and that is where police believe the victim lost her life, Van. Yeah, Chris, there is a single candle that has been lit outside the home where police say that she was killed. And just a couple of miles from here, a Travis Air Force Base airman arrested and charged with accessory to murder to others arrested in the Bay Area. Just 19 years old, Leilani Butcham was full of passion and love, according to her family, distraught when she was reported missing after going to a Sacramento Halloween party Friday night and leaving with two active duty Air Force Service members. She was last seen Saturday morning at this Fairfield home on Cascade Lane where the men lived. A neighbor who didn't want to be identified said detectives combed through the house on Sunday and shared this video with us. She said Fairfield police asked her questions. Did we hear any shooting between the time of 3 a.m. and um, 9 a.m. It's a little scary, um, especially for my kids. Like, you think you're moving into a better neighborhood, you know, and still nothing really different. Acting with the Travis Air Force Base's Office of Special Investigations and the Monterey County Sheriff's Office, police say Butchamp's remains were found in Monterey County where she was living. Three arrests were made by Sunday night, two in Pittsburgh. 21-year-old Jessica Quintanilla was charged with murder and 27-year-old Marco Quintanilla charged with accessory and violation of parole associated with a past conviction for attempted murder. And in Fairfield, U.S. Air Force Airman First Class Juan Power Peralta is charged with accessory to murder. He's seen here posing for a portrait at Travis Air Force Base last year while serving as the 60th Aerial Port Squadron Cargo Processing Specialist. Neighbors said the airman had been renting a room in the house for at least six months. And we just received a statement from Leilani's family. They tell us Leilani was truly a blessing to us and her beloved friends. Leilani shared a very close relationship with her younger brother and sister who, after she ventured out to college, maintained daily communication with them. We will miss her smile, her laugh, her caring demeanor, her strong will, her passion for life and the love she brought to our family. We love you, Leilani. Now back out here live, police have not confirmed the relationship between the parties involved here here and the case will be filed with the Solano County District Attorney's Office tomorrow morning. Our van two live for us tonight. A tragedy van. Thank you.